The pro-am has an image problem. She says, we're just not sexy enough. I mean, really. We reviewed the fund and awareness raising success of the Why Save Yourself When You Can Save the World t-shirt sale. We signed a petition to get calf services to offer fertile, high folate versions of pizza and french fries because we're gagging on the spinach and chickpeas in the salad bar. It's the last meeting of the year, so there's nothing else on the pro-am agenda except for the vote for new president. But this won't happen until Ventura surrenders the pea stick. And she's clutching that gold-plated positive pregnancy test like a talisman, unwilling to let it go and let someone else get a word in edgewise. Princeton Day Academy is already on track to rack up 42 pregs this year. That's double last year's tally, but accounts for only 25% of the, our school's fertile female population. We shouldn't be satisfied till every little tiger is wearing one of these. She grasps the necklace that we all wear. Earlier in the meeting, Ventura proudly added another bead to her chain during the gestation celebration, when all girls earn a bronze, silver, or gold bead for entering their first, second, or third trimesters, respectively. Everyone gets a glass bead just for joining, and births are commemorated with a diamond or a rhinestone. Professionals usually have enough cash for the former, while amateurs have to settle for the latter, which is a good example of the type of thing that creates tension and called for the creation of the alliance in the first place. As if reading my mind, Ventura says, we've gone so far in putting our petty differences as professionals and amateurs aside. We can come together as a unified front to make girls do the right thing and bump like all of us. Then she makes a big show out of turning her head to look at me. Almost all of us. Drawing attention to the embarrassingly blingless chain around my neck is totally uncalled for, even for Ventura. We owe it to our community, both locally and globally, to do harder, to, eat, to do better. Maybe we should follow China's lead with mandatory inseminations, I mutter to my best friend Shoko, hoping to get her attention. Shoko's sitting right next to me, but she's too busy digging through a bag of big belly jellies to acknowledge what I've said. Apparently, Ventura did hear me because she holds up the pea stick and makes a slashing gesture across her throat. Gosh, she has nerve for a new girl. I make a big show out of putting my hand in the air, a gesture that she just as elaborately ignores. Shoko's hazy, hazy expression suddenly snaps into focus as she holds a creamy big belly jelly between her swollen fingers. Lemon ginger, she says to no one in particular, aids to digestion. She pops it into her mouth and then, as an aside, in between chews, burrito's got his foot stuck in my poop chute. I snort with laughter. Excuse me, Ventura says sharply. I'm the one with the pea stick. I've still got the floor. Sorry, Ventura, Shoko says. Burrito's making me stupid. I can't stay focused on uh, heads all around the circle nod in sympathy. <laughs> well, that's one more reason to vote before you go on birth leave, says Ventura, tossing her glossy black shoulder over her shoulder, hair over her shoulder. Ventura for seriously lucked out on the hormonal draw because her hair is more lustrous now than ever before. Poor Celine Lichtblau, freshman, amateur, 11 weeks. She's losing her hair by the handful, and she's still got two trimesters left. By the time she reaches her due date, she'll be balder than the delivery she pushes out in the stirrups. <laughs> Ventura and her adorable six-month bump now stand up and look over and beyond our little group, assuming a self-important posture, as if she's about to address a crowd of thousands, not ten. If I am so lucky to be voted our president today, she winks at the crowd. I'll make it my mission to really overhaul our image. We need to get sexier to get more girls to our cause. She puts on her most life or death serious face. I know that you are all aware of the unfortunate circumstances that led to the dismissal of our former vice president. The whole room titters nervously. Ventura's tone is somber, but her heart-shaped face takes on an even rosier glow. We live in frightening times, girls. We need to be role models, not reneggers. Oh no, I can already see where she's going with this. 
It's our duty to work together as professionals and amateurs to promote positive pregging in, for the sake of all the parental units who desperately want our deliveries. Do you appreciate how lucky we are to live in a true melting pot of races, ethnicities, and cultures? In the United States, deliveries of every color and creed are valued. Do you know that if we lived in the Middle East or parts of Europe, we would be forced by law to preg with our own kind, keep the gene pool pure, a ripple of gas moves through the group. I know it is shocking to think that the government would try to stick its nose in our lady hearts. <laughs> I'm hoping that Shoko will break in with a joke about Burrito sticking his nose in her lady parts, but she's just as hypnotized as the rest of them. For the first time in history, teenage girls are the most important people on the planet. We all can't be like Zora Harding, who, as we all know, is due to make her ninth and 10th deliveries any moment now. The room breaks out into applause for the most famously prolific 18-year-old in America. But we can all aspire to her greatness, can't we? Whether you're an amateur, she pauses to look meaningfully at Celine, or a professional surrogate, she stops again to lock eyes with a captivated Shoko. Our nation needs all our pregs, girls. If we have any chance of redeeming our undisputed status of the most powerful country into the 21st century and beyond, if we hesitate, and she slowly turns her head in my direction again, our multicultural American society, a shiny beacon for tolerance and empathy all around the world, will die. I mean, like, really, really die. Everyone is on their swollen feet. Everyone, including my best friend. Some are clapping, some are crying. All are rocking their huge bellies with patriotic pride. I imagine an army of unseen deliveries pumping tiny fists. <laughs> USA! 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 Even before all the votes are cast, all but two, thanks, Shoko, in Ventura's favor, there's no doubt in my mind that I am really, really pumped. Thank you.